Hello everybody, this is Sci-Fi Junket again. Uh, after making that one video about that particular streamer, I thought I'd make another video. Uh, as I said before, I was going to make another video about the uh, at t problem that I've been having relating to um, the uh, NVG 510. Uh, and so I thought I'd go ahead and make a video about that today behind the one about the particular streamer that thinks she could demand money from her viewers. Anyway, uh, how I personally fixed it, and this doesn't, doesn't, this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do it this way, but this is how I did it. Um, I've set up, because um, I actually have a, a number of uh, computers that are in, you know, in one form or another, uh, one form or another in pieces. And so I put what I could together for one server, uh, loaded up Linux, the latest uh, long-term service Linux of uh, Ubuntu. And then I installed uh, Pi-hole. You know, I, everybody's made, instruct, you know, made videos about installing Linux. Everybody's made videos about installing Pi-hole. I'm not going to show you because you can look that stuff up yourself but um, what I did is I put one one computer together and made it the primary pie hole server yes I actually made it a server it's it's not doing anything else other than that uh, checked all the boxes for the DNS and everything and blah 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 and all that wonderful stuff and then I turned around and made my netbook Yes, believe it or not, I actually have a netbook back when I was going to uh, uh, OSU Omogi here in Oklahoma. Uh, back before they decided to, uh, that they didn't want me anymore. Anyway, um, got Ubuntu installed on that, put Pi Hole on that. So I made the server I put together primary, I made the netbook secondary. Point my computers to the server, put to the pihole servers, and presto changeo, it sped up. Now it didn't speed up data wise because you can't really do that unless you're you know willing to pay the extra arm, leg, and double toes to the corporation that you happen to be getting internet service from. But it does in fact in, in increase response time because if you check. I'm not sure if it's really what it really does or not, other than it seems to throw out the DNS queries to all the DNS servers that you selected, and whichever one comes back faster is the one it goes with. That's I'm not sure if that really does if it's really working that way or not, but that's what it seems to be doing. Uh then I went ahead and put another server together from all the parts from the computers I have and made it a proxy server. No, strike that. No, strike that. Uh, my brother gave me a computer from his work, and for the love of God, when you get rid of computers, please, please wipe the hard drive. Don't put freaking damn passwords and plain text freaking files. It just drives me up the wall, and I have to control myself because my brother goes anal when I start threatening to call up his work saying that they need proper decommissioning procedures. Anyway, uh, so what I did is I used DBAN on it and wiped it with a 100 round wipe. Uh, can't remember what the method I used or whatever, but I made it where it writes on the hard drive 100 times. Installed Ubuntu on it. Inst installed Squid proxy servers settings on it, or Squid proxy. And then I installed Pi-hole on that because even though you have Pi-hole on the DNS servers you built, once you try to use it with a proxy server, it downloads ads anyway. So it it kind of, kind of defeats the purpose, uh, mainly because the 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 uh, 
I guess it's mainly because the computers are going through a, a proxy server now in, uh, instead of like a regular internet. But anyway, you install PyHole on the proxy server and presto change it. So if you ever need to not use the proxy no more, you're still getting uh, some of an ad free experience. Now, granted, um, yes, it is ad blocker and but you actually have control on if you want to uh, block certain ads or if you just want to whitelist certain ads so it's it's a little bit more in your control you could choose which ones you want to see and which ones you don't uh the the list that it actually gets the um uh, advertisers from actually do d does happen to update every now and then. Uh, now the pie hole itself, uh, you'll have to update because they do make changes every now and then, and then you'll have to go in manually and update it. But other than that, it's pretty much a set and forget kind of thing. Now, the fact that pie hole. I do actually have two DNS PyHole servers plus PyHole installed on the proxy server. It, it actually improves my internet experience with at and far better than it was just using their Surcraps a lot wireless router. Or I should say wireless router modem phone combo thing. Now you probably could get away with having your your um, computer instead of set to a local DNS server, set it to Cloudflare or Google or whichever one you want to use. But with Pi-hole, you could actually set the Pi-hole server to go through all those. So in a sense, you're actually making a server that does all the DNS lookups for you through all the DNS services out there. You, all you do is just check a box, hit save, and presto change out. Your, your PyHole server is going and doing the very thing that your computer is doing when it comes to saying, telling the router, this is what I want, Get go ahead and give it to me. Um, now, what you do on how to fix your problem with at and and responsiveness with, uh, you know, getting web pages is up to you. But like I said, this is how I've done it. And you, you, you might even not find a better way of doing it than I have. I just happen to have a couple of computers that some of the parts don't work and throw them through some together and press the change. Up. So until next time, don't have too much fun.